Bourne Ultimatum, short movie review. Jason Bourne is starting to have flashbacks about his very first days as Jason Bourne, and he's determined now to find out the truth. He wants to know exactly the circumstances about around the whole training and everything. And so he goes searching for them. The CIA deputy director, I think he is, Noah Vosen, played by David Strathairn, fantastically, by the way, as all the acting in these are, he's not crazy about Bourne finding out the answers. And, yeah, we have some, some more chasing, where two determined people on either side, Bourne on one side, Noah on the other, are using a lot of skill and on Noah's side a lot of sort of resources in intelligence gathering to try to, yeah, win for themselves. The, the action is phenomenal and it's, the, the movie feels like one big action scene and pretty much all of the, the action really works. We've got We've got great vehicular chases, some of the best in the entire trilogy. In fact, the sort of the climactic action scene of this is the best in the trilogy. We have you know great martial arts sequences where again it's all about taking out the opponent, opponent not showing off, and shootouts. The pacing is phenomenal. It, in spite of this being almost all action, we still have room to breathe, and when there is a scene that isn't an action scene, we still get really into it, and yeah, there's, there's not a boring second to be found in the entire movie. Joan Allen returns as CIA bigwig Pamela Landy, who kicks serious ass. Matt Damon plays the Jason Bourne role to perfection. This is the less plot-heavy of the three. It seems like they pretty much told all the story they were going to, but it is still quite engaging. And as, a, as the third movie, it is the end of the trilogy, and it has to bring closure, it has to take us back to the first, it has to tie them all together, and it does all that, and really well. This does a better job of not making Bourne seem like he's psychic, but making him feel like it's powers of observation combined with really fast thinking. When you see Bourne accomplish something, you can put together yourself why he's doing it and how he figured it out. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. I've reviewed other parts of this series, the links are in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.